everybody. I am painting the door to my bathroom today. So I can't seem to get all of it in. So hang on, maybe I can. Yeah, that's about while well, still giving you, hang on, able to see what I'm doing. So you're gonna miss kind of either side, but I apologize. Um, so I'm the only one home right now and nobody knows that I have taken the door to my bathroom down. So we'll see if anybody notices. It's my main floor bathroom. Um, and this will be the interior, like my bathroom when you walk in, there's a laundry room in there. And this is the door that is always closed because it goes to the laundry room. So when people use the restroom, this is what they will see. Um, and I'm going to have to be moving all around in extremely awkward situations, so no judging. <laughs> and I already see that there is something in the paint. I already laid down the white. Um, which is the Dutch Boy mixed with Floetrol and water. So I already laid that down because I knew it would take a while, which it did. Um, and so I'm going to do a swipe because that means I won't have to tilt this very much um, because it's going to be very awkward to tilt. <laughs> so I've got my colors. And I'll just name them as I go. Um, I have videos that will discuss um, how I mix them. Please go to my homepage, click playlists, or click videos. Um, you can find all the info you need there and in the video descriptions. So I'm going to start with dun, 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 Mystery Red, which the, I have about two ounces left of mystery red and I'll never know what's in it and I'll probably never recreate it but you know you only live once all right so I am just going to this is pretty much what I'm going to do is sprinkle it drizzle it make a big splotch oh my god I'm like shaking this is so big and it hurts to lean over like this. Okay, so red is gonna be splotchy. Which is a-okay. Then we're going to do, this is a mix of various blues and iridescent mediums. Um, whatever color it is, it's really pretty. Red. Like when I did this on the canvas, I used the little pipettes, but I thought doing pipettes on something this big would drive me to insanity. But maybe I should have. Ah, there. All right, so now my um, it was, my mind is blinking, fluorescent pink, and um, magenta, Liquitex magenta. Maybe if I come around on the other side, it will be easier. easier. Alright. Okay, this next 
is some kind of vermilion with iridescent medium and some other stuff I don't quite know. Obviously, there will be higher concentrations of some colors in some areas. And as you can tell, I still have my cold that I've had for about a month now. All right, so this is um, yellow. But once again, it is a mixture of a bunch of yellows, so it's not just straight. Ooh, this one's pouring in a nice S all the way down. And I, it's okay if I have a lot of white space on this because I don't want to overwhelm it. And this is turquoise with iridescent. yellow right there. Spot on treadmill silicone into. Let's see how much of this you can see. Okay, pretty good. I hope I wasn't blocking all that. Um, I poured that into a cup of the white. And now I'm going to pour that down the middle of this. Just stirring it in. This is super cool already. Hopefully it ends up cool. Because it's got to go back on the door frame anyway, so. So you can see that cells and whatnot already started forming. Um, where the heck I put my, oh, okay. So now 
comes the awkward time of me having to attempt to swipe this. I'm using um, um, Yupo paper. This is part that I had painted like last week or something, but I'm using that. And I have kind of painted myself into a corner, like literally. And, oh, oh my gosh. I didn't realize this would be like a gymnastics routine. So far, so good. So now I'm going to do the other side, in which case I'm just going to use cardboard to swipe it. This is super cool. Okay. You probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm starting on this end. And it's going to be more concentrated on this side because it's going shorter distance. I did not say a word. Right. Looking good. It's a little thicker there, but I think it will be okay. I'm really hesitant to tilt. Can try a little bit. No, I'm not going to. I'm wondering.
on. Okay. That's so cool. Wow, way easier than I expected. There are little areas here and there that I want to tweak. And my cardboard is on the other side. And I don't know if I can reach. I honestly, and I'm sure some of you thought so too, this would be one of my super long videos where I get frustrated, I wipe it off, I re-pour it, I get frustrated, I wipe it off. Then I say, oh, I'm good with it, and then I turn the camera off and I rework the whole dang thing. But I am not. That kind of, I probably should not have um, done that extra swipe right there. Took some of the color off. But now I am So now I am just actually rubbing some white paint into the side, which I think when I you know, I'm ready to hang this. I will um, paint the side of it. But just so I don't have too many grips when I go to do so. I cannot believe that worked on the first try. I know I should not be like amazed at my own work, <laughs> but usually, you know, usually big paintings are harder, but wow, now I have a candy rainbow door. This just, this reminds me of candy. My show is in two days. I wonder if I could, I could bring this up there. It wouldn't have varnish on it or anything, but it would sure be fun to show. All right, so I am going to, yeah, it looks like it only took 20 minutes, but it probably took another 20 some minutes to spread the white. So let's see if I can, I can't even hold it to all of it. It looks like jewels, doesn't it?
This is going to make my bathroom be such a happy place. And who doesn't want a happy bathroom? Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.